Let's be radically honest. The reason you decided to become an entrepreneur wasn't to put yourself last and sacrifice your health and well-being. You were looking for freedom. Imagine if you could create the life and business of your dreams without working any harder. Imagine if stress and overwhelm were a thing of the past. What if the way forward isn't about a brand new approach and all you need is a mindset shift instead? Business intuitive coach Ranchelle Van Bryce is here to guide you through letting go of the underlying beliefs that are holding you back so you can stop making a living and start creating your epic life. Welcome, everyone, to today's dance party. I'm so excited to have you here with us. Whether you're live or you're listening to recording, I'm super excited this week. I have my guest, Brooke. Brooke, thank you for being here. We are going to talk about something so cool, which is healing your nervous system, which is a way to and a key, actually, uh, to achieving goals that I can't wait for you to share with myself and the audience the connection between my nervous system and the connection between my goals because I don't know about all of you but I am a huge fan of setting goals I've Mm -hmm. always been a huge fan of setting goals I think it's so important you know for us uh, to move forward in business or life now we might call it intention we might call it something else but I like the word goals so thank you for being here Brooke I'm excited to have you here thank you I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me. This is going to be um, a great conversation because I'm extremely passionate about this subject. (laughs) Yes. Um, I've had the pleasure of speaking to you at the Clarity Conference Connection Summit. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I heard you speak, I was like, oh, oh, yeah, we totally need to have another conversation. And now we have a bit more time. So uh, that's another reason why I'm so excited. And so before we start, though, I want to, of course, do the honors and introduce you formally. I think that's so important. And so let's talk about a little bit what you're going to share. Of course, I went into like right away, but in this episode, you're going to share how healing and balancing our nervous system is the key to unlocking our full potential and achieving our goals. You're going to guide us through understanding the impact a resilient nervous system has on our ability to handle stress, overcome obstacles, and stay focused on our goals. Then we're going to talk about how a balanced nervous system leads to an emotional stability, better decision making and greater resilience, essential elements for lasting success. And so now um, Brooke is a trauma healing coach, rapid transformational therapist and NLP practitioner. Brooke specializes in empowering survivors to rewrite their stories let me try that again, rewrite their stories, her personal path, a testament to overcoming indoctrination, abuse, and toxic bonds ignites her profound insight and unshakable dedication. So once again, Brooke, thank you for being here with me. I really, really appreciate you and what you are contributing to the world. So thank you. Thank you for having me and letting me have this space to talk about, you know, obviously, why I'm passionate about this subject and uh, because I really feel like not a lot of people recognize that you know even if we've had very little trauma in our lives which on some level some of us have had trauma we've all carry some of this in it our nervous system has been dysregulated by that trauma and so it's about being able to recognize okay when I'm in a regulated state or when I'm dysregulated And this is really important because if you're wanting to be a businesswoman, if you're wanting to achieve, if you're wanting to do big things in the world, if your nervous system doesn't feel safe to do that, you're going to be halted. And I saw this show up in my own reality. And it's why I now talk about it and help people heal from it because I believe that we all are meant to step into what we want our dream life to be like who we want to be, what gifts we came here to share. And in order to do that, we have to really get deeply, deeply connected to our bodies. You know, um, you know, as you're, as you're chatting and sharing, you know, the first thing that popped into my mind is, you know, for someone who maybe is, this is brand new information. How do you know that your nervous system is, is now I might be using incorrect language. So please, it's important that you correct my language. But it's a deregulated. Is that the correct language? Like it's I'm not regulated. So in my head, I'm deregulated. How like what are some signs and symptoms of that uh, for somebody? Yeah. 
Dysregulation, you're just going to notice that one, you cannot handle stress very well. So either you're going to be extremely emotionally unstable when stress happens or extremely reactive, um, or you're just going to not be able to handle these tasks that kind of come up in your life. And you're going to, it's going to completely um, take you into a space where you're like, okay, I don't know what to do. It's either going to be panic, right? Mm -hmm. And you're going to shut down. So that means that you're going to freeze, which is a trauma response, a stress response, which means I'm going to, you know, isolate or I'm just going to not do anything. And then you're not going to have any motivation or you're going to kind of go into that fight or flight trauma response, which is, oh, my gosh, I've got to go do a million things. And then you're going to make probably really poor decisions or you're not going to make the best decisions with a logical, rational brain. And so it's going to kind of limit how you're moving through life because you're reacting to what's mm -hmm. happening to you. You're not responding. So a couple of signs here. So I'm just going to give people like five signs to know, you know, that your nervous system is not working optimally. Um, one, if you have trouble sleeping. So if you are struggling either to fall asleep, so mind is racing, ruminating thoughts are overtaking you. Um, or you're waking up in the middle of the night is a key indicator that you got some cortisol responses going on. You have some nervous system dysregulation because your body doesn't feel necessarily safe enough to just completely relax and sleep the night. So you have some things going on in your body that are not working optimally. Um, you're always tired. You lack energy. So that means that you don't really have the motivation to go out and do what you want. And then when you do, it's like it took all the energy you had and then you're like on the couch, right? For hours or days or, you know, you're Netflix binging, whatever that looks like. Netflix. Yeah, yeah. You're just like, oh my gosh, when's the next show? When's the next show, right? Um, but, or you have trouble concentrating. So you can't stay on task or you can't concentrate on too long on a task. You start, you see yourself go to the next thing and you're like, oh my God, I didn't even finish the first thing. That was something that came up a lot in mine. Um, I would notice I would never finish the task that I started. And that just was like my first indicator. Okay, I, I've got to, I got to nip this in the bud. Um, always anxious or always stressed. So if you suffer from anxiety, this is a big indicator that you've got some dysregulation going on. Um, and then your body. Okay, how does your body feel? Do you have a lot of aches, a lot of pains? Are you suffering from autoimmune stuff? Are you going through, um, you know, rheumatoid arthritis? What's really coming up for you to show that your nervous system has been dysregulated and now you're getting physical manifestations of it? So those are just some things. I love that. Anybody else like go uh, yeah, check, uh, <laughs> check, uh, <laughs> check, check. And yeah, I think it's really interesting, Brooke, because there's so many um, other pieces that we might think is happening. So for example, uh, I'm in menopause. And so I could say, oh, I don't sleep through the night because I'm in menopause. Mm -hmm. And or, you know, I have to wake up, you know, and, and pee, you know, so sorry, everyone, TMI, maybe, you know, or uh, it, uh, I'm having hot flashes. So that's why I'm awake or, but what I hear you saying is, is a lot of maybe common themes with professionals and entrepreneurs is that they're under a lot of pressure, which could be stress. And then um, internalizing that, you know, I remember, you uh, um, it's a, chi a chiropractor or a massage therapist years ago when I had the curves, I was going, you know, I go, I go on a regular basis to massage and, and it was my family massage therapist. And, and she said, so how was your, how, how's your stress this week? And so I'm like, oh, it's fine. And then she starts working on me. She says, Rancho, you really need to get in touch with your body because you are telling your, you are saying it's fine. Your body is telling me something completely different and it was the first time that I heard someone tell me to, hey, get in touch, you know, with with your with your body. And so I, I so much appreciate those just those little those little check marks those symptoms so people can maybe consider that this is what's going on versus what they think is going on. Do you think that's common that people are dismissing their symptoms to something else? And it's really this at the core. It's this. Wholeheartedly. Yes. 1000%. Yeah. Um, I used to think my anxiety was 
because of, you know, so many other things, you know, I would blame it on so many other things. And ultimately it was the core foundation that my nervous system was reacting mm -hmm. from all of the stress and the trauma from the past. And I hadn't allowed my system to process that or feel a different way. And so my body was just reacting from what it thought, like it wasn't safe to be in this world. Right. And it wasn't safe to be me. And so it was like always kind of running in fight or flight. I was always there. That's where my go-to response is. And everybody has their go-to, just so you know, everybody has their dominant response. So some people are very dominant freeze where it's like immediately when stress happens, they go into shutdown, right? Or they isolate or they're like, oh my God, I can't do it. And I don't know what to do next, right? Um, and then some people have the fight or the flight, right? They get defensive or they feel like they got to keep running and they go from one thing to the next. It's just recognizing what is my dominant response was the first part of awareness. Mm -hmm. And once I had that, I could start to heal, right? I could start to recognize, okay, when my nervous system is not feeling safe, I see when I go into the frantic mode right? When I go into that fight or flight and I'm feeling like, Ooh, I'm uncomfortable here. And then recognizing how I can get back to getting grounded in my body because we live so much of our lives in our heads and not in our bodies. We don't even realize how numb or disconnected or dissociated we actually are. And if we've had trauma, it's even like, think of that 10 times worse, right? But we already yeah. live so much of our lives in our heads always thinking, right? Always, what's the next thing? You know, what, what happens this and, and going through all of these 70 to 80,000 thoughts a day that we have, um, we can get really stuck there, but ultimately our internal compass is our nervous system. And if we're truly deeply connected, just like you said, that massage therapist told you to do right. Deeply connected to our body we're going to have enough awareness to see when we're dysregulated. And that has been my experience. And it's why I talk about this. It's why people, I help people process whatever needs to be processed and really heal their nervous system, because this has been a foundational tool for me. Yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. So other than someone working with you directly, uh, what would be one thing that people could start with? You know, so you say, you know, um, get in touch. So that's what I heard whether you said this, you know, get in touch with your body. Um, I forget that so many people have not had this experience before. And so I know we only have like a couple of minutes before our, our first break, but what would be one thing, like someone's listening in the audience, as long as they're in a safe space and place, they're not driving, what would you tell them to do to get in touch with their body? Oh man, if they weren't driving, I would say, take a minute, close your eyes. And just breathe. Can you just breathe with this moment and actually, okay, just notice what am I feeling? How do I feel in my body? Do, am I completely numbed out? Am I disconnected? Do I feel any sensation? Do I, you know, you know, just witness what you're actually feeling inside. And if I did that right now in my moment, in this moment right now, I'd be like, yeah. oh, you know, I'm feeling a little bit on edge. I'm feeling a little nervous, right? Because I'm talking, I'm live, right? Everybody's watching me, right? You know, just seeing that kind of come up for me, just recognizing it, witnessing how you're actually feeling and then being able to kind of connect with that body and say, okay, well, what does my body need right now? Oh, I probably just need a big deep breath. Yeah. You know, and just being able to like take those actual conscious moments is what I call them, where you're fully present. Mm. I love how you slow down, like, and, and you're like, so we're fully present. Cause when you said, when you said to get into your body, I'm like, oh, I'm holding a little bit of tension in my, in my body uh, today. I had, and, and I was running around this morning and I was like, oh, I need to ground myself. And so when you were talking about that and, and you had said this big, deep, deep, big, deep breath, I, and I don't know if everyone heard that. I was like, Oh, so yeah. everyone's together <laughs> online. Let's take a deep breath. Yeah. I mean, it, your breath is, you're, it's free. You have like this beautiful tool that is with you all the time to regulate yourself. And we don't take advantage of it. A lot of us are shallow breathers because of our stress or our trauma. Mm -hmm. And so we don't even remember to breathe. <laughs> we were just shallow breathing. So just taking that big, deep breath signals with the nervous system. Ah, I'm safe. Yeah. Like everything is okay. 
Beautiful. Well, let's all do that during our first break here. Thank you so much, everyone. Again, whether you're joining us live or you're listening to the recording, my name is Ranchelle Van Bryce, and we are here on Inspired Choices Network, and the show is Ignite Your Success with Ranchelle. Many of us view success as something that you arrive at, something you pursue, something you have to make happen. What if you ignited success within yourself? What if you viewed success differently, changed the way you look at it? Would you feel differently about yourself and your journey? Tuning in to Ignite Your Success with business intuitive coach Ranchelle Van Bryce, you'll receive tools and insight to ignite your very own success differently. Join Ranchelle Wednesdays on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com at 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Mountain, 2 p.m. Pacific. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspire Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspire Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. Welcome back to Ignite Your Success with Ranchell. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to rvb at igniteyoursuccess.ca. Welcome back, everyone. I have my guest here, Brooke Kikos, and she's talking about healing your nervous system, keys to achieving your goal. And, you know, I'm always excited uh, for those of you maybe who were not here at the first segment. I am a goal setter. I have always been a goal setter. And, you know, in the last, I would say, 10 years, well, maybe not quite uh, seven for sure, I stopped setting SMART goals and I started to set goals with soul. And so when I saw Brooke's um, opportunity, the opportunity to interview Brooke and saw what she wanted to talk about, I got super excited because this really fits in with how I set goals in the sense of not setting the SMART goal, but really thinking about how do I want to feel when I set goals. And so before we went to our first break, we just talked about what's one simple thing that we can do when we notice that our system is uh, dysreg dysregulated and uh, and there were signs. So if you if you just joining us now, go back after and listen to the five. She gives five key signs as to how do we know when we're not regulated. And you know I love Brooke how you said you know there's this this, this uh, we have a pattern of behavior in this. We have this fight. We will have flight and we'll have freeze and we all have one. And then you gave us this great opportunity just to kind of get in touch with our bodies and breathe mm -hmm. and how that's, you know, it's free <laughs> and an opportunity for us to become more grounded and aware of our body. So for me, that's the first step is being aware of, you know, of how I'm responding or reacting to any given environment or situation and if I have any other high achievers out there you may be like me where you don't even know that you're under stress because it's just how we show up we're doers and I you know I learned how to be a beer but I still my go-to is to be a doer and yep. so I can absolutely find myself in this place of a uh, fight flight or freeze and mine is usually a uh, fight <laughs> coming out of the corner <laughs> ready to box ready to box okay right. so so Brooke what's next we recognize that we have a pattern um and we can take one step to start to regulate our system uh it would be great though if I said oh that's all we have to do and now we're done but I'm thinking that there's just a lot more you know to uh, to do and so what else would you like to us to know about the connection between the nervous system and uh, achieving goals? Yeah, well, I mean, I wish it was that simple, 
I think that we're always like kind of on this journey of like navigating, you know, and witnessing, okay, when I hit a wall, what is this wall here for? What's, what's, what's going on here, you know? And then a lot of it is when we set goals, you know, when I love how you said, you know, I'm a doer, right? Recognizing that you didn't recognize that you had stress or that this was even a trauma response of yours because it was all you knew. And I was very much in that space. I, that was all I ever knew too. So I didn't recognize how much I had exhausted my body and depleted it of its own energy. Um, and so why it's so important to know that like, we need to like, let the nervous system feel completely safe with a goal. Otherwise you're gonna hit a wall. You're going to hit that thing where the, the nervous system is going to be like, nope, this is too much. There's no way we're doing this. And then the stories are going to come in, which is, well, maybe I did just fail at this. Maybe I'm not enough to do this, or maybe I'm not worthy of this, right? Because your story always follows your state. Ooh, that's a writer downer. Your yes. story always follows your state. Yes. Okay, so it, moment, so please go ahead. Yeah. Because <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's a big deal, right? Your, if your story follows your state, that means if I'm feeling anxious in my body, my mind's going to find a story to go along with that anxiety. And I'm going to continue to go down that neural pathway of the brain and try to find all the reasons why this anxiety exists. And it's the same thing with if you're in this space of, okay, I want, so just, well, I'm going to give an example. I've written a book. Okay. Let's just say you've written a book and you're like, you know what? I want to get this book out into the world. But if your nervous system doesn't feel safe with being seen and visible, which I feel like is a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of business women feel yeah. they don't, for some reason, they lack the confidence or the enoughness to believe that they have that. Well, your nervous system's not going to feel safe. And so your nervous system is going to say, ah, oh, we don't like that. We want to stay over here where it's more comfortable. We want to, and then you're going to have the stories that come in mm -hmm. and then the stories are going to stop you and halt your entire process of getting that book into the world because you don't feel safe enough to feel or be seen or be visible because of all the stories that come along. Yeah, so this is a gr great opportunity. So I wrote a book last mm -hmm. year, <laughs> last year, it's been sitting in my Google Docs and uh, Christine from Inspired Choices Network, the CEO, uh, also has Inspired Choices uh, Publishing. Mm -hmm. And she was like, girlfriend, <laughs> we need to do something. And I went into, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, she kicked my butt. She kicked my butt. And it, and I, I started to sweat. Uh, we were talking and I actually uh, went into shutdown. So in this particular instance, I went into uh, to, into flight and just and I said to her, "I'm okay. Like I, it'll be okay. You know, I know." And I said to her, "I know I'm in a safe place. I know that I can do this." Uh, mm -hmm. And we we walked through it together, right? What I love about what you're sharing is that there is different opportunities that we may not know. We may not know that's what's happening, and. In particular, I really would like you to talk about, like you've mentioned this a couple of times, it needs to be safe for us. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's people in the audience who are questioning, like, not what you mean by that, but let me be kind of, let me be frank. People are like, that's absolutely ridiculous that that your body doesn't feel safe. I mean, who the hell's having that problem? <laughs> so I just want to address that elephant in the room, that how important that is, and how many of us don't even know it's a thing. And so if you could just talk a little bit about that, you know, yeah, that's, I really appreciate it. Yeah, and that's true. You're right. Some people are like, what do you mean my body needs to feel safe? Like, right. because a lot of us, again, don't live a very connected space to our body. We're disconnected from the body. And so we think that just our mind needs to feel safe with it. Just our thoughts need to feel safe with it. And we completely forget that the actually is a body is the foundation from which you exist in this life. This is like your space. That's, you know, it's main job is to basically keep you safe, right? Mm -hmm. That's its main job. Bodies and mind together. They work together to make sure that you're safe. You don't get eaten by a bear. 
right? But, <laughs> right? But we've evolved from that. Now it's like, we got much other other things, right? Technology and coming into this space of wanting to be seen and visible. And now we have all this access to do so, right? And if you haven't experienced those things, your body is not going to feel familiar with it. It's not going to be like, oh, this feels comfortable to put myself out there and put my, my face on here. And I'm not worried about judgment. I'm not worried about what people think, or they think I'm stupid, or if I don't know what I'm talking about, right? Like you're like, you're going to have all of these things. This is just not reality, right? That's (laughs) not reality. And so your body takes that as like, it's a threat. Mm -hmm. And we don't even think about that, but our circuitry in our body is this part of our human intelligence. Mm-hmm. that knows better than we do. <laughs> okay. It just, it just does. It knows better than we do. So are you saying, and this is a question, like, so are you, what I, so here's what I'm hearing is that I can convince my mind. I can have a, a, a great attitude. I can understand how my brain works, the, the neural networks, the connections. So I can have education, awareness in neuroscience and my body is driving the bus and my body needs to feel safe, not my mind. Yes. Did I understand that correctly? Completely. You got that spot on because the body, and then and then if you add in the factor, like say someone for me, particularly, I had deep trauma, sexually abused, um, domestic violence. So on very many levels, my body never knew what safety felt like. It felt like the whole world was a threat turn any corner, might get hit again, might get, you know, you know, hurt again. And so it's ultimately says we have to protect her. Mm -hmm. Right. And so anything that feels like a threat or feels uncomfortable or foreign, it's going to want to reject. It's going to say, nope, we're not going to do this. And so it's going to halt your ability to um, be able to explore, create, invent, right? Engage. I mean, sometimes that'll cut off complete social connection with people because ultimately the body doesn't feel safe or trusting of other people. And so it can connect you even from your social engagement. Um, So it's like being cut off at the knees, right? Mm -hmm. And not being in having to learn how to walk with, with no feet, you know, it's like having to learn that you have to have create these new um, connections in the body and the mind so you have that deep safety. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think when people think trauma, they think of things like, you know, uh, sexual trauma, uh, domestic abuse. As you were talking, I like it. So it's kind of this light bulb moment for me. Oh, this explains why everyone is behaving the way they're behaving because of the series of events that we had in 2020 to 2022. Okay. No one felt safe. And so we can we can tell ourselves, oh, we're safe, but our bodies aren't feeling safe, are they? That's like this correct. is and this. So this really is this is really, as I'm you know uh, hearing you, this is the epidemic, hmm. is the stress, the trauma from the 2020 to 2024. What's going to, what went down in history? I don't talk, talk and even talk about it. As you can tell, I'm not even naming it a name. But I do, I, I'm in recognition and awareness. So the download that I'm receiving from Divine is, oh, th- yes, this is this is what's happened to the world. On a, on a global, like to the world. This isn't like a, a yeah. constant thing. Wow. You, you're so spot on with that because it's recognizing that really the majority of people walking around are so dysregulated that they are not connected to their bodies. They're numbed out. Mm-hmm. They're numbed out, and their body has learned coping mechanisms to continue to keep them there. Well, obesity has increased. I was, I think, I read the other day by seven percent, like worldwide, since 2020. And I think that's the 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 stat. And of course, the amount of alcohol and drug abuse. You know, they there's uh, definite reports. We're hearing mental, you know, mental challenges, mental illness, and and, and with children, like young teenagers, uh, that being an epidemic. And so, if we have, so I guess my next question is, and we only have a minute, so maybe we can start and then we'll come, you know, come back. But 
I really would like you to talk about when we have a loved one in our life and maybe recognizing this, like we talked about the five signs, but how can we be of assistance to our children or our grandchildren or our spouses who may not be of this world, like we're talking about personal development and self-development, but how can we assist uh, assist them? And maybe now that I just, I'm just checking the time, let's leave that, let's pause. And when we get back from break, everyone, I'm going to have Brooke answer that question. So thank you so much again, Brooke. For those of you who are just joining, my name is Ramshel Van Bryce. We're here on Inspired Choices Network, and the show is Ignite Your Success with Ramshel. Many of us view success as something that you arrive at, something you pursue, something you have to make happen. What if you ignited success within yourself? What if you viewed success differently? changed the way you look at it would you feel differently about yourself and your journey tuning in to ignite your success with business intuitive coach ranchel van bryce you'll receive tools and insight to ignite your very own success differently join ranchel wednesdays on inspiredchoicesnetwork.com at 5 p.m eastern 4 p.m central 3 p.m mountain 2 p.m pacific How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Welcome back to Ignite Your Success with Ranchell. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to rvb at igniteyoursuccess.ca. Welcome back, everyone, to Ignite Your Success with Ranchelle. And for those of you just joining, my name is Ranchelle Van Bryce. I have a guest today talking about our nervous system and achieving goals. Now, if you would like to be a guest on my show, I love having incredible people like Brooke here with me. All you need to do is uh, send me an email at rvb at igniteyoursuccess.ca. Uh, oh, my goodness. I almost forgot. Almost forgot. <laughs> my own my own website yay <laughs> um uh or you can you can find me on any of the social media channels i am easy to find i am googleable that is now a word that's in the dictionary now <laughs> so brooke before the break we talked about uh recognizing that perhaps you know the series of events that happened in in 2020 uh to 2022 ish maybe even a bit longer for some has led us to what I'm, so I'm referring to this as being the actually epidemic because we, all of us, more than likely, I'm going to make that blanket statement, everyone, that all of us uh, have some sort of dysregulation within us. And the consequences of that is an increase in obesity, an increase in addictions, an increase in mental health, and, and an increase in mental health with young people. Uh, I can think of three young people in my life who uh, who really are suffering and so I'm excited because now I, I'm I can recognize this now and I have a place to send them and we're going to talk about how people can connect with you I had asked you to think about while we're in break you know how can we be of assistance to somebody when we are recognizing that they're in this state uh, mm -hmm. what can we do completely um I think it's you know, being a parent myself, I love to speak about this particularly because um, I witnessed both my sons lose their father in 2020. Mm -hmm. So not only do we have COVID, but we had deep grief. And I witnessed how my children both got very stuck in their own dominant stress responses, their traumatic responses. Mm -hmm. um, my oldest went to freeze as his dominant response. So a normal mother would say, you're lazy. Why are you so lazy? But what I recognized is he was not lazy. 
his body is traumatized from his experience. He is stuck in a freeze, which means the body goes into conservation mode. It goes into, I need to conserve all my energy because I don't know if I'm going to make it. Right. So it's just like, it's just recognizing. And then I saw my younger son go into fight. Mm -hmm. He wanted to fight everything. He was angry. He was defensive. He was that was the way that his nervous system went to, right? And so as I started to recognize this, you know, as I was doing my own nervous system work and healing, I was able to see and witness and say, okay, how can I help support my mm-hmm. children? Um, and that is the same that I've seen with, I used to have a lot of younger um, clients come to me, you know, 19, 18, 20, and they're all having these same things pop up. Mm -hmm. where they've had these deep traumatic experiences and their body on some level doesn't feel safe enough to engage and they can't, and they, and the body actually nervous system gets stuck in these responses. And so it's, it's tough, but if you Mm -hmm. know, when you have the awareness, it's when you can start to create the real change. Yes. I I love, I just, you know, and I know I'm saying that a lot, but it's true. I was, I absolutely love what you're saying. And I think what's so important is, um, the recognition of this, this could be happening. So I'm making a statement. It's also a question. <laughs> so, um, so I, I am making in the assumption that if someone goes to, you know, I always, rec- I always say to people when, you know, you, you need, to, you, you need to support hire a professional. Uh, don't go to your, don't go to your, your friends. <laughs> I mean, your friends can be supportive, but not, not necessarily when it comes to this. And mm-hmm. so I want to make that clarification. But what I'm hearing is that if someone, for example, was experiencing what could be deemed as depression, and so then they go on medication and they they go that route, but they're still experiencing depression, is it possible? And I know we can't diagnose, so I'm not diagnosing everyone. Please just know that. Is it possible that working with someone like you who who shows people how to regulate their nervous system, so whether we're goal setting or we just want better mental health, mm-hmm. that that could be. So someone's like on a track, it's not working. I can just, I, and I, I have some of mine, they're feeling helpless and hopeless. And is that, is that a possibility or am I just making, am I connecting dots that aren't even there? No, you're completely, I feel like you completely are. Obviously I cannot diagnose, right? Um, But I believe in, if you can look this up yourself, freeze response feels like depression. It feels like I don't have any other way. Um, You lack the ability to um, be able to make decisions. You um, feel hopeless. You feel helpless. You feel all of these um, deep, raw, and really dark emotions. And a lot of the times people will say, you know, I felt suicidal or I felt, you know, some of these things. And it's really just being in this dorsal vagal shutdown, which is the freeze response. And that's what I've witnessed myself in myself. I've witnessed that in every client that I've ever worked with. I've witnessed that in my children. Um, and just, they don't teach you this stuff in schools, guys. They don't teach you this stuff about your nervous system and how you feel inside to have the awareness enough to recognize that I have the power to know where I'm at right now. Okay. My nervous system is shut down. Well, how do I get out of this? Well, getting the tools and the keys to realize, okay, well, how do I move myself from this state, which is you're able to go up what they call the polyvagal ladder, which is you're able to move these states. Okay. Um, But when your body is in this deep conservation mode, it feels like resistance. It feels really hard to get out of bed. It gets really, it feels hard to brush your teeth feels hard to get makeup on. You know, all of these things feel like resistance because your nervous system ultimately is just trying to conserve itself. Um, and it's about rewiring the this neural circuitry so that when you have these responses, you can actually move out of these states more effortlessly the more that you do it. I hope that answered your question. I'm sorry. It, yeah, <laughs> there, yeah, it did. Um, I just, I think of all the... Uh, not only adults, but, you know, mm-hmm. I, I have a, a propensity to, to, you know, find myself 
find young people at, attracted to what I talk about. And, you know, and again, my, you know, my children and their friends will often, you know, message me when we were, when, they, when the kids in high school, their friends would always come over and, and hang out with, you know, us, me, because of my ability to listen really deeply and to offer never advice, but just an open ear and then suggestions of perhaps maybe you know, like talk to your parents or go see a professional. And so, you know, I'm really enjoying the direction of this conversation because, you know, when, when we, um, as entrepreneurs, and I'll bring it back to, you know, what we've been talking about as entrepreneurs, if we become regulated and we're able to achieve our goals, and if some of that happens to be a financial goal, then we, I, th I think as women, uh, especially, not meaning to insult any of my men listeners, but I think as women, we really have this heavier and uh, philanthropic side, this desire for nurturing. Mm -hmm. And see, so I, I always say the more revenue that we create, the more good that will happen in our world. So I love how we started the conversation with you know, goal setting and what this looks like. We moved to a, um, a touchier subject, you know, in, in mental, in mental um, challenges that we're experiencing, the addictions that we're experiencing and how this particular way of healing, you know, can assist. And so what does this look like then if, Brooke, if people want to connect with you, how can they get in touch with you, number one? And uh, if someone wants to work with you, what's their first step to work with you? Yeah. So obviously they can get a hold of me at lifecoachinggoddess.com. Um, I'm always open. I, I always offer complimentary consultations so we can chat. We can see where you're at. We can see, um, you know, I can witness your dominant response um, just in meeting with me in that chat. I can tell you what that looks like for you, kind of give you some great key pointers on okay, if you have this dominant response, what are some things that you can start to do today, right, that can be really helpful for you? Because ultimately, we want to turn down our stress response and turn on our yes response so that we can feel comfortable, we can feel safe with achieving our goals, right? Because that means that if we're connected to that and we're connected to our body, we're going to feel that openness and that ease when it comes to really big things like doing the book, right? You know, all of these big things that we want to do because we have something to say, we have something we want to share, but being able to feel safe enough to do so. So did you, so you said uh, we want to uh, turn down the stress response mm -hmm. so we can turn up the yes response. Yes. I really, I like that. It's another great writer downer. So we're going to turn down our stress response so we, so we can say, yes response. Yeah, we can say yes to things because when we turn down that stress response, what that means is that we've opened up our window of tolerance is what they call it, which is we've been able to open up um, this space where we're more resilient. So even if something happens and it, and it creates that stress in our body, all of a sudden we don't get just stuck in that stress, right? We're, our body is like be able to handle it, able to process it. It's like it doesn't, you know, like get sticky, like glue, right? Like it's just able to be able to process that, move through it. And we're like, oh, okay, well, we hit a challenge. We hit a, a, you know, a bump in the road. That's okay, right? We can just look at it with a different perspective than getting stuck in the stress. And so that's where we kind of feel that openness, that expansiveness. And that get, that keeps us in our creativity, that keeps us in that state of what we, what they call in the nervous system world, ventral vagal, which means I'm safe to explore. I'm safe to invent. I'm safe to engage. Um, and you just see some things from a higher perspective. You know, as you're, you know, you're talking, um, about this more like the, the bigger opportunities, you know, to say yes more. And as we are regulating our nervous system, what comes to me then is we also, I'm assuming we would see more opportunity because mm -hmm. we're, we're not in that response. The other thing that came to me is that there is a difference between pushing through and resilience. Completely. Oh. Right, we'll feel pushing through. Like I, I, um, as I'm even talking, my shoulders are starting to tighten up, and my neck is, you know, getting all crunchy. 
that's what happens to me when I want to push through something. I yeah. become tense. Mm -hmm. When you say the word resilient, and I'd love the audience just to kind of check in with their bodies as well. If you're in a place and space, you can do that. Like I feel really empowered when I, when I feel the word resilient, I'm resilient. Yeah. Like no obstacle, no obstacle can stop you. Right. Because it's like you can store instead you're looking from the perspective of, Oh, I'm like a kid that has an obstacle course, right? Like they get excited to like get through the obstacle course. And now it's like, you can look at it like that where you're like, Oh, I'm excited. Actually, here's this challenge. Well, let me see from this perspective, how I can move around it or I can change what I'm doing. Right. You don't look at it as frustration or anger, or I'm a failure. You look at it as an opportunity, just like mm -hmm. you said. You know, the, the image I have as we're talking is you talk about the obstacle course. And I don't know what game show, TV show it is where the obstacle course and they, and they're, you know, they're, they're jumping on stuff and they, they get hit by the big foam hammer and everyone's laughing and, it's like, oh. <laughs> and then they fall and mm -hmm. everyone's giddy about it. And wouldn't it be cool if we could approach our life with that giddiness of resilience and, you know, and a quest. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I talked lots about that. And um, in my morning call that I do, we're on a quest and it, it would be lots of fun to do that. All right, let's go to our next break, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us here. Brooke, thank you again. And we are going to be back. Uh, don't go anywhere, everyone. We're gonna, going to have Brooke share some more amazing brilliance that she has uh, stored in her back pocket. Thanks, everyone. And we'll talk to you in a moment. Many of us view success as something that you arrive at, something you pursue, something you have to make happen. What if you ignited success within yourself? What if you viewed success differently, changed the way you look at it? Would you feel differently about yourself and your journey? Tuning in to Ignite Your Success with business intuitive coach Ranchelle Van Bryce, you'll receive tools and insight to ignite your very own success differently. Join Ranchelle Wednesdays on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com at 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Mountain, 2 p.m. Pacific. Welcome back to Ignite Your Success with Ranchelle. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to rvb at igniteyoursuccess.ca. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, Brooke, I could literally just uh, do a fireside chat with you and you know, be here for hours and have you share your wisdom with us. I, you know, I so much appreciate it. Earlier, I talked about what it would look like for people to work with you and you, um, and you, and you said they can connect with you uh, via your website. If you just want to give your website again, just in case someone's just joining us now, I would, I would really appreciate that. Sure. It's lifecoachinggoddess.com. Lifecoachinggoddess.com. I love that word. <laughs> And often I know when you and I've connected before and you are so generous and with your gifts, I believe you have a gift as well for the audience. And so do you want to just talk, talk a little bit about that, please? Yeah, I believe my gift was just a complimentary consultation, if yeah, I'm correct. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, I just, so, yeah. which is yeah. amazing. I'm like, yeah, wow. it's, a, it's yeah. a call with me to, you know, really explore really what I've been talking about, to be honest, to help you get really big awareness on what your go-to response is, what your go-to reaction is to life. So this can give you the awareness of how you can start to respond to life, right? So that you can really thrive and achieve what you want and design your life in a more powerful way. I love that, that sounds, I'm going to use words you see everyone, sorry. Design <laughs> your life in a, in a more powerful way. And rather than feeling like we're a victim of our circumstances or a victim of our life, um, you know, truly that's a beautiful gift because I think we have uh, information and power is, is powerful. Now, I always say, you know, with that information, we need to do something about it. And so, you know, as people connect with you, I think that the greatest thing that you're talking about is, wouldn't it just be awesome, everyone, if you knew whether you go into uh, fight, flight, uh, or freeze response? And so, um, Brooke, if people want to connect with you, can they do that via email? Is that the best way for them to to uh, grab their complimentary uh, session or go to your website? What does that look like? 
They can go to my website or they can email me, brookikos at gmail.com or, um, you know, there'll be a link. You can find me. There'll be a link where you can book the complimentary consultation and you can just go and, and go and grab it and let's have a chat and let's Perfect. use the awareness that you need. Yes. Excellent. So brookikos at gmail.com as spelt B-R-O-O-K-E, Kikos, K-E-K-O-S. I should get an award for that right. at <laughs> gmail.com or of course on your website and, um, or connect with you on any, any of your social channels as well. I know you are also very easy. Uh, you're very Googleable as well. Uh, so thank you again. Any last words here? We have a few minutes, anything, uh, anything else that you would love the audience to know? Yeah, I think, you know, what really feels good to me right now in this space is to know that like, if you do have big goals too, is to make an action plan around those that feels safe to your nervous system, which means that you don't want to just leave it to chance, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to check in with your body when you go into these goals. So does it feel daunting, right? So when you went to go and release that book or want to put that book, how well, how did it feel in your body, right? Did you feel constriction? Did it make you anxious? Did it make you, uh, you know, go into that stress response? Or did it feel like openness and like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited and this is going to be expansive and this is going to be amazing. Well, if it felt the opposite, right, where it felt like, oh, this doesn't feel like I need to do this. I don't know if I can do it. Like it felt really constricting. It's going into making smaller steps mm -hmm. that can be done so that you can create the momentum that you need that your nervous system is going to feel safer with than taking on this really big chunk or this really big goal that it's going to be like, no, I can't do this. Um, this is the way you kind of set yourself up for better success um, and make it more attractive to your nervous system, more attractive to your mind to able to be able to do those things, those really big things that you want to do in the world. It was really interesting as you, and I wrote it down, uh, to, to build an action plan that feels safe to your body. Mm -hmm when uh, Christine and I were talking about the book and I was fine, I was fine, I was fine. Then we're getting down to the nitty gritty of what do you want the book cover to look like and what, and uh, what headshot do you want to use and what font? And, and I just like done. <laughs> I was like, ah! and she was awesome because she really held space for me so that I could, she's like, okay, let's just do this like one thing at a time. And, and, and she was able to hold space so we could break it down in those little itty bitty pieces and so then the next time we met, I was like, I was so excited as I, you know, totally want to do this. And, you know, I'm doing a, a marketing summit in October now. And uh, so her and I talked about that and because they're going to produce the summit and I want the book to be available before then. And I would have never have said that before. I would have been like, oh, I can publish the book after. And so it's interesting how when we build that action plan that our body feels safe, how much forward momentum we have. Like I'm in That's awe it. of it. And you know why? Because there's no uncertainty. Oh, one of our human needs mm -hmm. is certainty. And so when we don't have certainty, our nervous system is like, well, there's so many unknowns. There's so many what ifs and there's so many scenarios. So it feels like uncertainty, which uncertainty doesn't feel safe. Right. Yeah, so, yeah. It, right. Certainty, you, you knew the plan, you knew the steps to take. And so there was no like throwing it up in the air and throwing spaghetti at the wall. It was like, I know what I'm going to do now. Right. And so you had that certainty. And so then it finally felt safe for you. So I love that you're now, I can't wait to get your book. Um, and, and, and yeah, I mean, that's so exciting that you were finally able to take that and, and do that. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. It's, you know, it's called the empowered entrepreneur and healing our core wounds and, and, uh, towards, and so growing our business right through healing our core wounds. And so, mm -hmm. uh, so it ties into, you know, what you and I are talking about. So as we part ways here, I just want to, once again, Brooke, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule being here with myself uh, on Inspired Choices Network. The show, everyone, again, is Ignite Your Success with Ranchelle. And I'm going to definitely have um, you here on the audience. Come back next week. Let's hang out again. Come to the dance party. Thank you for listening to Ignite Your Success with Ranchelle. Ranchelle returns Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Central 
3 p.m. Mountain, 2 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until then, be big, be bold, be brilliant, be you.